Hey friends, it's me, Erin, your friendly neighborhood energy alchemist with today's Schumann Resonance Report for Sunday, September the 15th. Oh, it's bright out here. How are you guys feeling? We've been getting massive pushes of very intense energy in that crown third eye region for two days now. Full body blast yesterday morning at about 5 a.m. The rest has been all concentrated in that crown, a little bit of third eye, but there's a lot of integration going on with this new energy coming in. And you see this right here? You know this right here so i asked in meditation if this was a timeline jump and i was told no it was not a timeline jump it was an adjustment a course correction because there were some decisions that were made yesterday or the day before i didn't get any privy to what the decisions were or who made them and i can only tell you what i received so you know but what i heard was there were some major decisions made um i assume this has something to do with disclosure or government or something and it was a course correction here to get us back on track the image i was actually shown was one of a like a wagon on a trail and the wagon wheel sort of falls off the end this is the course correction to get it back on track but all this energy right here oh my goodness you guys this is full of inspiration full of trying to push you forward really really trying to get you to focus when i went in meditation and was asking about this what i heard was it's time to distinguish between want and need because if you're trying to manifest based on need you're going to block yourself because you're coming from a place of lack and law of attraction works on how you feel not what you say so you can say i want to have freedom all day long but if you're coming from a place of not having it it's harder to get to you are literally blocking yourself hmm so of course people ask me well how do i fix that how do i get over that well it's not about pretending that you don't want the things you want but it's about finding the feeling that's behind the things you want and focusing on that feeling so for example if you want a sense of freedom you got to find ways to feel that sense of freedom right now and really sit in it and really revel in it and be gratitude and speak gratitude for it all those sorts of things that's how you get law of attraction working with you and not pulling against you because if you're coming from a place of lack you are telling law of attraction I I don't have this therefore law of attraction grabs on to that feeling of I don't have it and it will reflect to you many reasons why you don't have it but instead if you choose to say I have a feeling of freedom because I can go for a walk whenever I want I have a feeling of freedom because I can buy this pack of gum and it's mine I have a feeling of freedom because I can put these shoes on and they're mine and I don't have to give them to anybody else or go anywhere or do anything you are so free to choose that you can choose bondage you are so free to choose that you can choose to limit yourself that's freedom, friends. That's freedom. No cards today because my guys were really, really insistent that it's more important that you start figuring out the difference between want and need so that you can focus where you, where you want to be by focusing on the feelings you want to have and bringing them into your life experience now. And people tell me all the time, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. I'm sorry, but you can. Your laziness or your teachings are in your head. And sometimes it's just do something, anything to get you moving in that direction. It doesn't have to be the final thing. It doesn't have to be the final product. It just has to be steps in the right direction. I heard this before and I repeat this often. We ask Source, I want to be happy. So Source is going to give you a thousand ways to be happy. It's still up to you to take advantage of those. You tell Source, I'm hungry. It's going to lay out a buffet of all these different kinds of foods, but it's not going to take an apple and shove it in your mouth. It's going to wait for you to choose what you want. With energy like this, it tends to make me very, very inspired, full of energy. Yesterday, I went on like a three-mile hike, and I did all this stuff yesterday, and I'm going to do that again today. I'm really taking advantage of this energy. And when I'm out there hiking, I'm writing down the ideas I have. I bring a backpack with a notebook, and I write down everything down as it comes up because that's where I'm connected. That's where I feel most in connection with my higher self and source. That's where my ideas come from. I had so many of them yesterday. And although I can't announce the details yet, I do want you guys to know that yesterday with all this inspiration coming forward, I had an idea for a collaboration with a friend of mine and it's going to be amazing. It's going to be live on TikTok. We're going to be talking about all kinds of things. I don't have a date yet, but there's some opportunities in this live that are going to be fantastic. So make sure you're watching out for those details. And of course, like always, I love to come out here and show you guys the sun. It is an absolutely stunning day here in Illinois, bright, beautiful, and warm, 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 warm. So we're going to start this day off right right and we are not gonna let the evil robot mower get us all right you guys we're gonna take a nice big deep breath all the way down to your toes and release drop your shoulders and just say to yourself today is a great day it's brand new I can do anything I want with this and I get to choose me I get to choose how I want to spend my day I believe in you I believe in you you can do it